Hello everyone. I have not cleaned my desk the past day. So I have zero plan for today's video. I know that I just sh should is not the right word. I know that I wanted to film. I didn't really have a good idea of what exactly I wanted to do. So we're just going to kind of roll with it. I have my disc planner here that I was in last week and I purchased some for um, pages from Handy Forms. And so this is the mini HP on discs for the Handy Forms. I purchased the blank just because I often times need to just scratch things down and I don't want to worry about lines and grid and whatnot. And so I purchased those. I did purchase the dot grid. These are like six, six millimeters in a spit. And then I also purchased the regular grid as well. And so I've got some kind of like extra sheets here on, oopsies, changed my light. Oh gosh, hang on. There you go. And so I've got some extra sheets on that disc here. And then this is what I was in last week. It worked really, really, really well. And I am in my bullet journal again this week. So I, I realize I'm all over the place. What I did different with my bullet journal is I tried to, well, I didn't try, I did successfully <clears throat> add in my Moxie Life goals to my bullet journal. So I did do a video of me feeling disconnected from my goals. And so that video is out there. I would say that I'm going to put the little thing up there, but I might not remember in editing. But I actually tried to print off one of the free printables from the Moxie Life library. I tried to print off a page of the weekly actions. This page here, I tried to print it off and shrink it to this size. It didn't work super great. And so the reason is because it's just, this is so much smaller of a page that I still had the same number of lines and whatnot, obviously, but it was, it was very, very condensed. I might try a couple of different times to do it again. And so I am keeping this still handy just for the quick type of things that I need to just do where I can just rip out the page take it with me or whatnot, but I do have all of my goals currently in here. So I kind of wanted to show you what I did. <clears throat> Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. I did not clean <laughs> my desk at all. Um, okay, that's fine. So I wanted to kind of show you what I did. So again, this is the Sterling Inc. 520 page notebook. I have the Sweet Freckle Designs little vellum tabs that I am using for quick references. This I need to temporarily move. So this is May. This is where we're at currently. Oh my gosh, I just realized you guys can't see. Okay, is that better? I feel like that's better. And, um... So when I pre-set up my bullet journal, I still am in love with my setup. So I'm definitely not going to be changing that anytime soon. But I did sketch down all of the, so there's an address there, all of the things that we have going on in June. And there's more things on this sticky note than has actually made it to my calendar. So June is a wee bit bananas, but that's okay. We're going to figure it out. And so the reason I started feeling really disconnected is because I didn't have my goals with me. So I've kind of gone back and forth multiple times on my goals being with me. I have the folio system from Moxie Life and I love the Moxie Life system. When I first was in the Moxie Life system years and years ago, I always felt really strange with having my goals with me when I was out and about. I don't know why I felt like I needed to keep them extremely private. And some of them still are extremely private that I will not share. And so 
I just felt really strange about having like, I guess, visibility type issues. So I have since gotten over that because a lot of my goals that I am sharing are maintenance or slow progress goals. And so what I did is I added in my weekly actions here. So I did do it a little bit backwards and that is A-OK -okay because I am su supposed to have, well, not supposed to have, I should, I am used to the reflections page being here that you do for the previous week. And then based off of the reflections, you make your next week's actions. But when I decided to add it to my bullet journal, I was so willy nilly excited, gung ho, did it all, didn't even think about it. So these are my weekly actions for this week. I'm actually going to go through, no, I don't have my 03 pencil. This is my O. Oh, this is my 03. Okay. Um, so I did this last night. So I actually did a lot of this already. So I've checked off quite a bit. And so I created my weekly actions and then I have my spare page over here. I decided that I was going to do this challenge my friend Tania made. It's She's calling it either 81 Mama or 81 Mama Challenge. She literally just kind of created it. And so I wrote all of that information down. And then I've got my week here. So this week in the past has worked really well for me with my bullet journal. So I decided to do the same. I am going to be doing multiple different types of spread for the summer because our summer, like I've already mentioned, is going to be a little bit busy. And so I'm not going to have... I don't know. I'm just going to need my bullet journal to be flexible. And so that is the biggest reason I'm in a bullet journal anyway. So what I am doing here is, oh, this is with kids. Um, I've gotten two liters down already of my water. I've already done my laundry and I have not done, I've done my intentions, but I've not done my reflections yet. And so I just realized I got kind of off filter or off, um, not filter. I forgot what I was saying when I decided to update my habit tracker. Flexibility. Yes. I need my bullet journal to be extremely flexible with me this summer because my schedule and day is going to change on a daily and weekly basis. So this is the layout that I'm using this week. I wanted to share with you guys as well that I have my weekly actions already set up for next week. So I'm going to do my weekly reflections up here more in a journal form. I have done journal form reflections already, but I usually try and do some bulleted points for the questions that are up here. Oh, wait. Oh, here. Um, and so this was a little bit more of a journal form. So I, you know, it changes. It's okay. It's part of the system. It's supposed to change. And so I have got my weekly actions, or excuse me, weekly reflections here. It's also the end of the month. In your Moxie Life system, you also have monthly reflections. So I have a space dedicated down here for that. Also, again, it's going to be in journal form. I will refer to the questions in here also, but it's more going to be a long journal form. I've already set up my weekly actions page for next week, and then I am going to draw out my spread for next week as well. I've already got my sticky note for my challenge that I am doing for the habit tracker. This sticky note is a Moxie Life sticky note also. And then I wanted to show you guys that I did this too. So this is June's monthly goals spread. So I haven't finished putting in all of the headers, but I have the entire spread here for June. And then if I have time, I will also go ahead and do my, uh, da, 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 where did it go? Oh, it's covering my address. That's right. I will also do my, I'm trying to find it y'all, my stationary stockpile, stockpile challenge. 
which is rainbow. I might not actually do that one on camera because I don't have a ton of colorful stickers. So that one's going to take me quite a bit to actually plan out. And so I was going to do that as well. But I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily take out this beautiful card and I am just going to set up next week and take this out too for my words are hard y'all I think I might need to pause this real quick and go make a pot of coffee um set up my spread for next week is the words I was trying to get out of my mouth I have also not done my June bill tracker yet either I I wanted to say budget but technically I don't budget I just track my spending habits. And so this is the SM plans monthly overview for the Hobonichi Weeks size. And I'm just going to tip that in uh, maybe here. This is a good spot for it since it's goal related. I might do that. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to make a pot of coffee right quick and then I will start laying this out. Okay. So you guys... If you've been with me for any length of time, you know that I do not have expensive things for filming. I use my cell phone. I'm very minimal when it's filming. Y'all, I just made like the rookiest of all rookie mistakes. I was just filming in the wrong orientation. <laughs> so I was filming vertically in store instead of horizontally. So I just jabbered for like eight minutes about the layout that I'm going to do. We're just going to roll with it. So <laughs> I have drawn out my layout that I'm going to do this week. Okay. I'm doing a Hobonichi Weeks inspired type layout, but in a B6 journal. So I took my ruler and a pencil. I've already made a mistake and had to erase it. That's why I use pencil and I've divided this page in two. I'm going to have the Hope and Eiji Weeks layout here. I'm going to have my weekly tasks to purchase list and menu here. And then I'm going to do my daily logging on this side. Okay, so that was much more drawn out when I was discussing all of it earlier. I also mentioned that I was going to be using this Dear Lily Designs stencil. This is number 126. This is one of the Japanese banners is what they're called on their website. I love these stencils because they're credit card sized, they have a hole for an O-ring and they're really thick plastic. So they don't, they're not like the flimsy plastic that moves around on you a bunch. So this is what I'm gonna do. I also think I'm going to be switching things up a little bit and instead of using my O3 Energel, I think I'm gonna go back to my Microns this week. So I want thick, bold lines for my outline and then I'm going to want a, thinner for all of my tasks and appointments. So I'm going to use the O3 and the O5. I am going to very quickly just order this here that I've already done in pencil and goofed it once. But again, this is the reason we start in pencil. So I'm going to just really quickly border all of this. And then I will start filling in the week. Um, okay. I don't know why, but I always like feel like I need to create this thing in a specific way. I don't. I don't understand why. Like I feel like I need to do all the vertical lines and then all the horizontal lines. But then I have like a little bit of low leveling anxiety that I'm going to mess something up. And so I'm just going to start with a big, huge rectangle and go from there. So this week that I'm drawing out right now is going to be the kids first full week of spring. Summer, holy cow, summer, 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 summer. And it's a little bit bananas already. I do have them registered for a science camp. I actually have them registered for two this summer, 
but I can't remember which one I requested a cancellation for. I think it was this week that I'm drawing out right now. So I need to do a little bit of research on that and see if I got my cancellation. Okay, so downsides of filming on your phone is if you have to make a phone call to confirm that said events were canceled, then you have to start filming again, but not a big deal. It was canceled. I'm super, super excited about it um, <laughs> because we're just really busy. And so it was actually not even the week that I'm planning right now anyways. It was this week. And so I am just going to erase that. They're processing a refund, which is amazing because I, yes, yes, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Okay. Back to this here. Okay. So let's go ahead and put in our headers. So now I'm having like an internal debate on whether I should do headers here with my stencils or use my sterling ink stickers. I have to admit, I don't, I don't, oh gosh, I don't know. That kind of looks pretty good because it doesn't take up that much space. But these ones take, I think I'm going to use these for my rapid logging on this side. And I might use, oh, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll use both of these for my rapid logging on that side. Okay, we're going to roll with this. Which one do we want to use this week? Da, 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 da. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Okay, I think I like this one. Maybe I don't. Okay, let's see what other stencils I've got. <laughs> okay, so when you're bullet journaling, it, it does not have to be this complicated by any means. I might actually just handwrite things in because I feel like I'm not like in a frame of mind to where I can be even like remotely creative and so this is what we're gonna do we're just gonna handwrite it in okay because I think I actually am going to use stickers this week because this day is my hubby's birthday and it's Memorial Day and I want I want a sticker for him I want a little emoji sticker so we're going to handwrite because these stickers aren't going to look great with these stickers. Because I over process things constantly. Okay, let's get to it. So this one is Monday 5:29, Tuesday 5:30. Oh my gosh, I have three birthdays in a row, y'all. This is my husband's, this is my neighbor's daughter, this is my mom. Wednesday, 5.31, Thursday, 6, 1. Because yes, I have to say this out loud because I am not looking at my calendar for every single day. And then Friday, 6.2. Saturday, 6, 3, and then Sunday, 6, 4. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is going to have so many stickers. Because I, I have three birthdays. I have my son's birthday party. Holy cow. This is going to be a really fun week, y'all. This is an excellent week to have for like our first full week of summer. I'm super excited now. Okay, I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to go ahead and put everything in first. No, I'm not. I just fibbed. I am going to... Okay, let's look. Before I get ahead of myself, I'm getting excited, y'all. June 4th is a Sunday. That is my son's party. I don't even know like how or where I ended up getting this thing. I like these ones. I think my son would appreciate some of these. Which one do you think? He loves orange. Maybe I'll do that one. I like the sunflowers. Okay, so let's put 
put that on, what did I say, Sunday the 4th, right? Okay. So we've got Jay's party. He's turning seven. We're going to do that Sunday the 4th. We're going we're gonna to break. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Why do I make YouTube videos? I guess I make YouTube videos because this is life. This is what happens. And not everybody is a professional editor and filmmaker. Mm. Holy cow. Okay. So I was saying I'm like breaking the rules because I'm putting it below my border. But guess what? I make up the rules because it's my journal. All right, so I've got those. Let me, I have this like huge thing of stickers over here. I think I've showed it to you all before. Maybe I should do another desk tour. I should clean my desk, but maybe I should do another desk tour soon. But let me go ahead and get my birthday stickers out wherever they are. Maybe I'm out here and I need to bust out like the sheets. Um, do we have birthday? I, I had past tense at one point, birthday stickers. Maybe I'm just out here and I just need to get out the sheets. Oh, here they are, okay. Ooh, I'm gonna give my husband the eating cake one because that's so stinking fun. And I'm gonna give my mama the big huge cake one. And then I'll give my neighbor's daughter. She just graduated, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited for her. Uh, from high school, not college. She graduated from high school. Either way, super excited for her. Okay. Because I need Memorial Day. Oh gosh, this is going to be so many stickers. I wonder... Okay, these are my options. Do we have one for Memorial Day? Oh, we don't. That's okay. Okay, so I could put these stickers here on my calendar. Or I could save them over here for my rapid logging. I think I'm going to put them on my calendar. So this is the Monday. You know what I'm going to do? Hang on. I'm going to stick these right here on my little light because I'm also going to... Where's my clicky highlighter? Love this thing. You guys, this is the Rytec retractable clicky highlighter. It's my favorite thing. Oh, you know what? I've got orange down here. I think I'm going to look for a different color for this week. On yellow week. I've never done a yellow spread, I don't think, before. Ugh. Nope. Although that would look... Again, over-processing. No. Maybe we're just gonna stick with gray, y'all. scared I'm not going to like this but I'm committing so I wanted to do this first before I laid down any stickers okay so that Monday is Memorial Day my husband's got off which is good it's also his birthday so extra good right extra bonus let me just finish this up and then I'll start transferring all of my schedule. 
Okay. I'm going to keep this out because I think I'm going to do like headers over here because my son's birthday party is this day. I am going to have to have a little to purchase list type thing. Okay, so let's check Monday other than birthday and whatnot. We have Memorial Day. We have birthday. Swim has not started yet. Football has not started yet. That's going to be a fabulous day. Okay. Which one did I say I was going to give hubby? I think I said I was going to give him this one. Okay. All right. And then he's got the day off. All right. And then Tuesday is when summer, like, stuff starts. Okay. We have, so Balin's birthday is that day. And then swim. My daughter is in a swim team. And that starts this day. It's 10, 15 to 12. And this is the week where she's going to be kind of in like the placement week. And then she's got soccer camp. 530 to 7. Okay. And then this day is Mama's birthday. You guys, I think I actually like the yellow. We'll see how I feel at the end of the week. <laughs> All right, so we have swim again. And then soccer camp. And then these times are going to be the same as these, so I'm not going to rewrite the times. Thursday is the first. We should have swim again. And then we're going to have it again on Friday since it's placement week. And then the soccer camp is just a three-day camp, so this is the last day of the soccer camp. And then Friday, what? Look at you guys, white space. Uh, let's check over here though, hang on. <laughs> um, dum, dum, dum. So this one was the camp that was canceled. Um, okay, yeah, cause soccer, I mean football doesn't start until this one. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. Okay, so yeah, this is like an actual Nothing scheduled for two whole days. Wow. I'm, I'm quite excited about that. Okay. So Saturday we have like a, a nothing day. Sunday is son's birthday. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we've got the necessary schedule in. And now I'm going to highlight tasks and I think you know what I think I'm actually going to do a purchase list on a sticky note because my purchase list might get a wee bit longer as I hey you guys I forgot I even had these this kind of matches how stinking cute is that so my, sorry, I, I get very, it's like I have a squirrel brain, you guys. My purchase list will change and grow. And I don't want to commit at this point to like putting my purchase list to buy here and then have it extended. So I'm just going to write a to buy. Because we need to make sure that he's got everything that he needs for his party. Oh, see? Yes, not a professional filmmaker. So, weekly tasks. I have got 
I'm going to leave this side completely blank because I am going to be doing my rapid logging and daily logging over here. Okay. So weekly tasks, I have not finished my weekly actions. So let's see quickly if I can do some of that. Um, and I can't, but that's fine because I have not done my reflections and I have not graduated all of that. Oh, I can do a couple. So I do need to check my garden daily. And then I want to put in my, uh, my challenge here. So this is definitely under personal. I'm just going to write summer challenge. Okay. And I'll keep track with that fun and rack. I want to read a book personal for me. Read daily. So part of my summer challenge is the Moxie Life Intentions and Reflections, and I've got that written down, but I am going to be present in Club Moxie daily and sharing my progress with my challenge. Financial, I have not done yet because this is gonna be the week that I set up June bill tracking. Okay, and now I've got my calendar written out so I can probably look at physical environment and see. It's also going to be the beginning of a month, which I have here. So, so I'll have all of this tasks to do at the very beginning. So let's go ahead and write my first of the month chores. So this will be the week that I sanitize my washer and my dishwasher. And then I am going to do the coffee pot. Okay, and then I, um, oh, I should do my fans. I did those in May. I did my air vents also in May. Oh, my carpets, y'all, they just need to get replaced. Okay. Okay, all right, perfect. So the other thing I wanted to check in quickly before we move into a new month is my 12 week challenge. I'm struggling with my 12 week challenge. Mainly because I'm this trust, y'all. Ugh. Okay. Oh, that's right. Here's all of my financial stuff because we're going to go on vacation at the end of June. So I need to finish saving up for all of that. So that is going to go in my finances. I'm going to start picking up American Sign Language over the summer as well. And... I said I wasn't going to be able to do all of my weekly actions for this week, but look what I'm doing. I'm doing my weekly actions. And so work and learning, I'm going to do ASL three times this week. And I'm going to write that. I'm going to write it up here. Because I don't want to forget that because it really is like deep and down. It is, it is important to me. Okay, and financial, I'm going to just write, look at vacay account. We have a separate account set up that we dump money into occasionally to stockpile for vacations and kids sports and like all of the extra things that you have to pay for in life. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going to leave my health blank. A lot of this stuff will carry over into health. I'm going to leave my to purchase blank. I am going to write in my tasks. Oh, I wonder if I have, 
I was gonna put my week of sticker, but I have not been consistent with that. I have them from Sterling Ink, but meh. All right, so let's find my header again. Let's just write up here, tasks. I should have highlighted first, y'all. Should have highlighted first. And I should have done it down one. So it would be even with this one. Ugh, y'all. So this is what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna highlight here. Yay, no smear. And then I'm gonna highlight up here and I'm gonna write the word weekly up here. Oh my gosh, that I used a ruler and that did not work. Okay. There you go. Still off, but that's okay. We're going to roll with it. All right. So my weekly tasks are going to be carried over from my weekly actions. So my physical, like actual tasks that I need to do is uh, all of it. Really, this is more of a habit. That's a habit. Um, reading daily is a habit. Okay. I don't know if this is, it's harder for me because I got like this weird thing in my head, but I feel like it'll be easier for you guys to see. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how to write on camera, you guys. Okay, so sanitize dishwasher oh I do have to mow every week now um, and I have three essentially three yards that I need to mow uh, coffee pot my trips account okay and what else did we say gosh I already love having freaking weekly actions in here scooping that happens like every other day okay and then purchase U-R-C-H-A-S-E, party stuff. And then we had one last minute idea for him too, for a gift. So I feel like this is kind of just where I'm gonna be living for a little bit in this. Um, in there so I'm actually really happy with how it turned out I love that I've got some sticky notes so I can move them around as I see fit I have not done my menu yet for the week and so eventually this will be moved up and I also super stinked and love that it fits so like quite literally perfectly in this half page on the sterling ink notebook so i'll put my menu down here after i create it of course and then i'll do all my daily logging over here i'll do a lot of that um probably just updating on instagram but this was a very long video i truly appreciate you guys just hanging out with me and ooh, you know what i'm gonna do i don't like the way this looks so guess what i'm gonna do oh, i'm gonna go away no, that's way too much yellow. What should I cover it with? The pens? It's kind of like a, or is that too much brown? Oh my gosh, again, over processor. I think I'm gonna do the pens. Oh, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna do the cats. Yeah, we're gonna do the cats. Okay. I'm going to cover that because I truly, truly do not love the um, thing I got going on here. Oh my gosh, this like, okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna cover this and then I'm gonna let you guys go. I could totally do this off camera too, but I am not. Okay. I feel like this should be easier. Because I just want it like right, right at the edge. So it's all like a straight line down. Okay. This I think is actually going to make me a billion times happier. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to let you guys go. That is so much better. I'm so happy about that. Okay, so I appreciate you sticking with me and I feel like I was in like a very high energy kind of like a little bit of a wonky mood during this filming. Um, so hopefully I didn't scare too many people away with my, my mood, but I'm feeling good. So I'm just rolling with it and I'm going to film or I'm going to publish this and kind of go with it and I'm just not going to worry about it. So this is bare bones for next week. I will fill all of this in as I need the page with my daily rapid logging. I've got my weekly actions set up. I will do my June goals maybe on a different video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I truly appreciate it. Have a great one.